Oh, I thought I was muted. Hi guys, welcome into Comic Book Woman. Uh, I'm Laura, Jen, Lucy. Hi. For those of you that have never been here before. Uh, okay, so before we get started, very quickly, we wanna give a thank you to our sponsors over at Cover Price. They are kind enough to offer the code FLIPSIDE, which will get you um, two months of their unlimited membership for $1.99 a month. And they are the ones that provide us with the majority of the information that we compile together. By we, I mean Jen. <laughs> to do this awesome you know, market report. Every week, If again, if you're new, we choose a different female in the comic book community, either a writer, an artist, or a character, and we spend the show kind of giving you an idea of what they're doing, uh, how they're performing on eBay, how their books are selling, stuff like that. But let's see. Uh, Jen, how's your day? What's happening well, in Chicago? There's actually a storm going on, <clears throat> and we lost power for a little bit. So if I do, hmm. my power is my internet are very closely aligned. So uh, if I disappear, it's not because I'm, like, upset. It's because there's a storm going on. If you disappear, Lucy and I are just going to make up a bunch of information. We'll like, <laughs> oh, this one is featuring so-and-so, and it came out. We'll just make up years. It'll be bad. That would be great. Whole, whole show of misinformation. <laughs> that would be good. Oh, my gosh. She'll but watch it afterwards and be like, hey, man. I know. Oh, she's yeah. going to drive her crazy. Wasn't the first appearance of Spider-Man in, like, Deadpool 7? <laughs> right? And then X-Men. They have that new character. What was that new X Men character? Bad girl. Mm, perfect. <laughs> yeah. This will be the best show ever. Lucy, how's your day? It's okay. It's okay. I. Uh, it's good. <laughs> that was not convincing. I'm, I'm always tired. Uh, it's okay, I guess. Uh, I can't think right now. My head is completely blank. So I guess it must be okay. Well, you're going to be excited because tonight we are featuring one of the most amazing artists out there, Sana Takeda. Most of you are going to know her from Monstrous, but she's done some other work, and we felt like it was only right after featuring Marjorie Liu to bring Sana into the ring and give her a, give her a spotlight. Well, so We even, by accident, not really by accident, when we did the Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, she had one of those covers. Like, that's what I was covers. thinking about, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Dr. Strange's Kate. That's what I was thinking before the show. I'm like, what was that book she just recently? And then that was it. Oh, there you go. All right. So let's see here. Sana Takeda. Uh, we watched a bit, a couple of different YouTube uh, interviews with her before the show. Really sweet lady. Uh, they all have to be translated because I don't believe she speaks English at all. Japanese, or, right? Yeah. So it's very broken English but she communicates through a translator. So I was watching some stuff on her and she's just a very cool down to earth person. She was talking about how uh, she worked for Marvel and image in the beginning and that she really enjoyed the whole idea of bringing East to West with her style yeah. and how she never did uh, Japanese and it's pronounced manga. Cause I heard her say it. You know, it was like, is it manga or manga? Yeah. It's manga. Yeah, right. I heard her saying it. Yeah. So now we know. But she never really worked in that, but that she thought it was interesting how so many American artists nowadays pull from the facial expressions that they find in traditional Japanese manga. What did you learn, Jen? Uh, that she wasn't classically trained, mm -hmm. that she's always just drawn for years and it's just been her hobby. And what, Lucy, what was that thing you were... She, she used was, to work uh, she, started, she started as an illustrator for Sega. Was it Sega that I told you? Now, Lucy, it's Sega. Yeah. Sega. If you're going to say it, you got to say it right. Sega. No, it's like the Sega. That's how when you will turn it on, right? That's how they will say. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Sure. Sure, uh, sure. But, but yeah, like I was, uh, I thought it was interesting that that's kind of like how, how she started. Let me see. 
Uh, I know I told you, Jen, but I can't even remember Jesus. Like, I know she started um, in comics in 2006. Oh, yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, yeah. She worked for, uh, that was her first job as illustrator. She was an illustrator for Sega. But, yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting. That's how she started. That's, her, like, one of her first jobs for that. Yeah, she's incredible. Her line work is unparalleled. And, uh, again, when I was watching something about her, she was saying how at, at cons and conventions, like, people don't come up to her. And she's like, please do. Wait. Come up and say hi to me. I didn't read. I didn't see you read that. Yeah, she's in this. She's talking about how people, like, want to say hi to her, but they're, like, not sure. Or they're nervous. Huh? Like, like Jen? Like Jen with, with Jenny Friesen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's like, and I want to talk to people. So if you ever get the chance to be at a convention and Sana's there, don't be shy. Like this is my girlfriend's favorite artist. It was this is actually the first. Uh, Monstrous was the first graphic novel on her own. She went and saw it at a comic book store. It's like this is actually a really cool cover, and she started looking through it, and so she bought it herself. And then she's been seeking out the volumes, and I'm just like, yes. <laughs> so is Britt watching right now? The show uh, is for her. I think she's yeah. But yeah, uh, just, just the style speaks to people. Even if if you know someone who just loves beautiful intricate art. Yeah, this that's is one of those comics, a good intro comic. Yeah, and she also did, uh, she worked for uh, games and children's books. So that's pretty cool. I just read that, so. Because <laughs> I read that earlier when I told you, Jen, and I just completely, I have the worst memory. So I forgot that that's what I read about her. Uh, on her website, uh, talks about it. So yeah. Yeah, her work's like a dream. I think that if you had a really, if you look into it, you think, okay, Takeda style, you have the same kind of like muted color pal palette. You have the Japanese influence, especially when she does water. I just <laughs> and of course the line work, just stunning all around. So she definitely deserves to be spotlighted tonight. Her books on Monstrous has won the Eisner Award, Hugo Awards. Yeah. She does not get enough attention. I agree 100%. She is such a good artist. I told Anthony, this one's on my bucket list. I would love to have her do an exclusive for us. Mm -hmm. Her and Frizen are too, and Boss Logic. I really yeah. want Boss Logic. Oh, so That'd be cool. My, like, if, if she ever, because I know with everything going on, it's going to probably be a little bit, but uh, I definitely would want her to do... Uh, oh, imagine she could draw something to get a tattoo of. <gasps> that would be Ooh. Cool. That would actually be really cool, actually. I will. I'm such a chicken. I love tattoos. Well, that's like small. Like, I got like a few birdies over here. So you have tattoos, yeah. Lucy? Yeah, yeah. I got my. You can't really see them, but my shoulder. Oh, is it this side? I can't remember. We're like leaning forward. Like, let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, kind of. Yeah, I see them. Oh my gosh. And they go down across my back. Uh, oh, and you should then, have her oh, design a word for you to get tattooed. And then I have like my obviously when I turn eighteen my first tattoo my tramp stamp. <laughs> I didn't I say it. I would say how else would you say? It? But yes, I have my lower back tattoo. Uh, it's not finished. <laughs> what do you <laughs> mean? Is it like half a dolphin? <laughs> no, it's my favorite. Uh, lilies are my favorite favorite flowers. Stargazers, and. Uh, my friend, he worked at a tattoo shop, and uh, for my 18th birthday, he was going to do it, and he started and everything, but it's it's pretty big that I sh for my first tattoo, I should have never done that. And <sighs> I was just kind of like, oh, my God, so much in pain. I cannot take pain. And he's like, oh, we'll do it for another section. Well, I never – another session, so I never went back. <laughs> so it's – You're going to have to show me this later. I want to see. Oh, my family makes fun of me. They call it a lettuce. Nice. Yeah. Oh, so I have a oh, lettuce. Like it looks a like a lettuce. piece of lettuce? Yeah, kind of. But it should be a This lettuce. is getting better and better. Forget the spotlight. So let's just talk about your tattoos the rest of the show. I want visuals. Yeah. Dude, but I'll Lucy, send you pictures. I want you to. It would be really cool if you could get Donna to do a bird tattoo and then get it. Because then it would be with your theme. And it could be smaller, right? Yeah. Yes, that'll be cool. I will, yeah. I, I'll probably find those, what is it called, to numb your skin <laughs> to get it finished? Oh, um, spirit gum. That's what I know. <laughs> <It's> spirit gum. 
<laughs> That's our cure all here from now on. The answer is spirit gum. All right. Anyways, let's keep cruising here. Guys, before we keep on moving, make sure that you give the show a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Tales from the Flipside has so many shows. We cover basically everything. There's something for everybody on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and let's keep cruising. So before we get into how she's performing in the market, we want to talk a little bit about her process because this is fascinating stuff, guys. Um, before we got started, Jen, you were saying that Britt's been dabbling in digital art mm -hmm. and she saw some similarities here in their process. Well, because she, cause, like Britt's coming to the comic world with no prior knowledge, right? So when she sees Sana's work, she's like, wow, like she must be intricate from the very beginning and just gets so detail focused. And when she came across these, she's like, oh, that's kind of what she's been like. You do the blocking first and then you go through and you clean it up and then you just keep going. Like, and so for her, it was from a newbie's perspective, it was eye opening. It was just, oh, like someone who is very detailed still starts in layers. Yeah. You have your really rough sketch at the beginning, but with, with still with an idea of where you want to place things. I think that's the mm -hmm. most important part here. The process is just where she's going to have them on the panel. The point of view from you know the beginning when you see them coming down from the ceiling and that type of stuff, keeping the point of view and in, in uh, what's what's the word, the word I'm looking for? Keeping the point of view like as a opening what really sets the tone for the panel. Yeah, because like it's it's giving the person that's reading an idea of how to flow through. But anyways, I think it's interesting that she had the red in the rug here. I think that's really, really neat that she already knew that the rug and the angle of the rug was going to be, you know, an intricate part of this first panel, which, what do you think, Lucy? Oh, no, it's fr freaking awesome to see that that's the way the, you know, I honestly, I don't know why, like I seen a million times, you know, how they start with the rough, and then it kind of mm -hmm. gets better and better, you know, but actually seeing like there's so much detail in one page, like how do you, like me, I wouldn't know where to start, I guess. So it, it, it just such a cool, uh, it, it, to be able to see it, like the, the, the how it starts and in the middle and then how it ends, it's pretty cool. Look at the detail on the dress on that last panel with the lace cuff that she adds to the wrist, the, the detail across the breast of the dress. It's really stunning her stuff is so beautiful even her interior work is just like it's breathtaking mm -hmm. even the chandelier yeah. yeah and this is from uh that uh what is it called that book um oh I'm my god thinking. monsters yeah well look at the the one thing that you can see changed here she changed the positioning of the chandelier probably so that she had space for her word bubbles yeah yeah, because, yeah, this is monstrous. I'm pretty sure it's monstrous. Yeah, isn't that Micah at the beginning being sold? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's keep cruising. So, guys, yeah, this is an, an interesting insight into how this artist develops her work. Jen, did you have anything to add on this one before we keep going? Uh, no, I just, I, I'm I'm hoping, I don't say desperately, but for con season, for C2E2 or New York Comic Con, because it would be really cool and you'll see something else at the let's like last that I came across that I now is on a hunt list. But anyway. All right. Well, yeah, if you ever get the chance to meet her, as we mentioned earlier, she is up to talking with people and just take your phone out. Doesn't your phone do like Google translate so that you can like say what you want to say in your phone. And yeah, I don't know. yeah. let's see. JJ said he found it interesting that she started in video games with cresting CGI work. Mm -hmm. That's what Lucy was saying. Yeah. yeah Pretty cool. Like, how these people. Cool. Yes burst onto the scene. So, okay, guys, her first book and her first published book, it's very similar to Jenny Frizen, right? Jen, we were talking about this. So she was hired for Drain, but then what happened, Jen? So in 2006, the writer commissioned her to, or hired her to do Drain uh, covers and interior. And while they're working together, before it came out, this Drain came out in November of 2006. Before it came out, though, he was also working. They were also working on X Men Fairy Tales. Oh, can you? So then, did a cover. She did a cover for that. But that X Men Fairy Tales came out in July, whereas Drain came out in November. But technically, she start Drain was her first hired working on this. Oh, okay. Publishing it came out after. So that's pretty cool. But number five, uh, Drain number five is the one that's on the thumbnail. 
it's mm -hmm. awesome. Like that's when I saw that cover, I was like, oh man, I never heard the series. I need to the, check it like out. the face, the full face picture. Yeah, with the with the sword. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's very haunting. Yeah, this is beautiful, and it's a different. This is different. People Im immediately think monstrous, just monstrous. So seeing like her range of what she's able to do here, and there are mm -hmm. some influences of there of the manga, even though she never technically worked on them. You can tell she grew up with that style of the face kind of being. Uh, what's the word? I don't want to say pointy because it's not that it's just pointy, but it's angled a certain way. Hmm. Ooh, look at the smoke too and the skulls. Lucy, what do you think? Oh, it's just beautiful. I like that drain a little bit better because again, there's so much detail on that one. Like the more I didn't even notice the skulls and the other things in the bottom until you mentioned it. Uh, it it's beautiful cover. So yeah. And very affordable for i mean I'm, I'm, the more we do this the more i'm coming across artists and writers firsts unless like it's a weird like the majority of them are this is crazy this is less than my coffee this morning for asana takita number one of her first work ever including the interiors like if you're a fan of her artwork this is something you could easily snag up oh, yeah. and then even it, like I, I, let's talk about just a tw quick comment of buying on ebay versus going into the stores and trying to hunt it down if you hunt it down you you'll get it for these prices i don't because even with these yes they're selling for around two bucks but then shipping was five or seven it's like well then is it really two because wouldn't that be around more closer to 10 if you include shipping i think with ebay you have to include shipping in it you have to right didn't we talk about this a while back when like we had some comic that was only being available from canada so you paid like 35 dollars in shipping yeah, like that's exactly. still is the price of the book itself. So yeah, I agree. If you can find it in LCS, that's, that's, yeah. that's yeah, the way to go. That it adds. I remember, uh, never mind. But yes, shipping. I always include the shipping as the price that that's how much I pay for the book. I don't think like shipping is not like it doesn't count. It should count. <laughs> but yeah, she's obviously very talented. This is back in 2006, you guys said? Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. So again, we pulled 10 covers from her she has way more than that so mm. there are things that aren't here mm -hmm. but then i implore you to go and seek those out to be a completionist yeah. i implore you to see reason what movie girls you guys aren't gonna know this is really yeah. depressing and probably not it's one of my favorite well it is my favorite movie little women <laughs> little no women. little women's not my favorite movie <laughs> he, he goes, he looks like, i implore you to see reason Mm. Hey, Monte Cristo. Just kidding. It's Harry Potter. Oh, like, Harry Whoa. Potter. Duh. Dumbledore is speaking. Uh, oh, you guys just. Yes, yes. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> if I had to get a tattoo, it would be Harry Potter inspired. Like I would get like Hogwarts on my like somewhere How on my something. And you when he was dancing. No, that like ruined it. I opened that up, Lucy. I'm like ah. Duh. Anyway, moving on. Oh, somebody in the chat was just talking about this. I was waiting. For, I'm waiting for thoughts and opinions on Heroes for Hire 13. Well, here we go. Heroes for Hire 13. Uh, before the show, the girls and I were skimming through, and I was like, hot damn. Ooh, wow. what, what's, what's happening here? The, the tentacles. Oh, jeez. I didn't well, even know that. They're all, like, bonded oh. and chained. and It's a wow. Misty Knight, Black Cat. Colin, Colin Wing, oh shoot, and somebody else, but they're yeah, they're bound. And so it's funny because uh, Key Collector had this around fifteen, and prices do kind of range. But there's been some lucky people who got it for two, and then yeah, like average, like around eight dollars. Dang, but, it, it, it's a cool cover. I like it. I like the the art, but I just I don't know. I, I don't know. It does not look like it will be a comic book, uh, <laughs> superheroes book. So. Mature. Like, how did Marvel approve it? I know it's it's art. It's it's manga ish tentacle art. That's you know. I guess. I mean, they do accept that, but it was different times. So, dude. They, if you look at some of the covers, yeah. right? Like we're talking about J. Scott Campbell. There's sexy ass covers out there. Mm -hmm. This is just in that same ballpark. It's not like they're. That's what I was thinking. Yes, like, yeah. but see the way Campbell does. I don't know. It, it is. But look, you, you, you don't see nips, so 
That's good. I like yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Laura? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. A I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I ever in a million years would have gone, oh, wow, this is a Sana Takeda cover. Like, I would never, yeah. I, I think it speaks volumes to her range that she's able to capture such a huge variety of artwork. I mean, again, the, the middle character's face isn't her standard. It looks it looks different to me. But, yeah, this is this is something else. Um, it's, early. it's early, though, like 2007. So it, it's also cool to see how, like, that issue number five of Drain has, it's super detailed, but it's interesting to see her flow through like the years. Cause so all these, even though we don't cover all of them, you will see a yearly transgression, like a yearly flow. So we, we start older and go to newer. Girls, whose arm, can you see my cursor? What's, whose arm is this? That's an arm, right? Cause look, there's a hand up at the top right here. Yeah. Where does this arm go? Well, I think they're probably a bunch of the female character is tied to the like a pole. No, or but like, the, the fe here's the, the the black cat looking arm know, right there. Maybe next to black cat, right? Whose arm is this though? That's just odd. Where's why is this arm sticking out the side? So maybe you you can when you see oh. her in person and be like, hey, can you draw me the, <laughs> the other half of this this cover? Because I want like, to see it behind. Yeah, because there's there's obviously a character right here that we're not seeing, but that's a female. So that you're saying there's just like a guy on the back. Probably, okay. probably. Maybe it's a, one of the characters from Heroes for Hire. Maybe they didn't make it to the picture. <laughs> Just his arm. Maybe Ooh, in that the would... inside. Maybe in the inside, it's like you could see who's behind or something. I don't know. That would have been cool to have it on the back cover. So the front cover is this first. Yeah. Oh, that, that's hey, that's a good idea for later. For you never know. Yeah. Uh, so a 9.8 of this bad boy is $58, not too shabby. Basically the price of getting it slabbed and sending it down there. Otherwise, you can find the raw comic for about 10 bucks. Uh, mm -hmm. Not too shabby. Mm -hmm. You'll probably even find it cheaper. It does kind of look like an Aspen comics cover. I can see yeah. that too. Yes, that's, that's, yep. All right, yeah. now we're getting a little bit, now we're starting to see her develop here a little bit more, right? This is, Ooh, I like this. From this is very neat. 2009, Okay. Miss Marvel number 46. It's a one in 10. <sighs> this is badass. This was badass. badass. Like she, she I, had a couple of uh, Miss Marvels in that 2009 era. It's a good story between, it's more about like Mystique and Rogue and Carol. And then there's also another Miss Marvel character also. So, but yeah, this, the zombified. I like it. And it's perfect the right there for autograph right in the middle. Oh, that's right. A little sketch. I love how you're always thinking how people can sign these. The the, the light on this is fantastic. It's so mm -hmm. bright and it's it's so well done. Uh, 9.4 is going for $25 or a near mint copy, I'm assuming, down there is 30 If you want to. Prices range. Somebody, so it reminds me of Bride of Chuck poster. <laughs> it kind of does. <sighs> But at least she's a cute bride. I mean, she's still cute. Even though she's a zombie, she still has good hair. Yeah, she yeah. does. I like her mm -hmm. hair. Her hair is still okay. nice. It still looks good. Would you for cosplay as a zombified? Hell yeah. That'd be, That'd be so much fun. Oh, we need to set our next bet on we here do. Nirvana. We do. Yeah. Did we? Oh, yeah, we have to do that. Yeah, we'll do that this Friday. Uh, really quickly, guys, before we move on, um, make sure that after the show tonight, you check out the link because we did a show on free comic book day back in March. We were so far ahead of the curve. And we, we covered every single book that's going to be coming out, including our favorites, the ones that we we're going to be hunting down. And I think we kind of called it because we were all wanting stray dogs. We all wanted Enter the House of Slaughter. So if you are like excited about free comic book day and you're not really sure what you should be looking for, I put the link to the show in the tonight's show's description so that you can go back and rewatch that one. That was a good show. But yeah, I just, I saw uh, the black cover for free, free, free comic book day. Awesome. What, which one? From this, the, from the, that series black. I saw it too. Yeah. But obviously. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I saw it too, Jen. I saw it too, but I'm not saying anything. But yeah, check that one out, guys. Uh, it's a really good show. We had a lot of fun. We spent way too much time, but we covered like everything. So the time mm -hmm. goes really fast. And mm -hmm. 
Yeah, if you're looking forward to it. I believe that floating arm on Heroes 13 belongs to Shang-Chi. Oh, you really? Told you it was probably somebody who's part of the team. You hmm. told you. Good call, Lucy. Good call. All right, next up, we have X-Men, the 92 variant, um, three number three variant. This is a cool cover. This, again, I think we're merging more into our style. I think the majority of us, if we're walking through the bookstore or the comic book store and we saw this, we'd be like, okay, there's there's some of that coloring that we're used to and the line work. This one's badass. What do you guys think? My favorite so far, Jen? Well, because we time jumped to 2015. Oh, this one. Mm. So This one is uh, the one that, uh, sorry, Jen. Mr. Longshort? Uh, huh? Mr. Longshort? No, Ultra. He talked about this uh, a while back on it, uh, the drunken chat. And it was going crazy and it was hard to find. Yeah, uh, so that's why prices, that's why I had to include the eBay because. Uh, right after Ultra talked about it. Yeah. It well, also, like, I know bubblegum covers because of Mr. Longshort because of Ethan's oh, Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But. Yeah, you see the the jump happened, and I you're looking in the thirty to fifty dollar range now because mm -hmm. I, I know yeah. Mel wanted this one. I remember he was like he wanted this one. He was able to get it because people bought it. Like there was only few on on in, on eBay, and the, his sharks they all took it. That's what he calls it, the sharks. <laughs> Back in Cuba, I, I, I don't know. It's gonna be hard, like. I don't know. Don't you think? I mean, X-Men tends to be the ones that are on the ground at the end. Mm -hmm. And usually, I feel like people tend to skip the X-Men 92 line. They shouldn't. But I feel like I've seen I've seen this before, and I didn't grab it. So I'm like, oh, I'll get it next time. And then I went back and it was gone. <laughs> you missed out on the cover? No. That doesn't, that doesn't sound right. Wait, what, what were they saying when this cover came out? What was all the jazz about? Just the fact that it was a bubblegum cover? Or what was or that was a Takeda cover? What was the whole spin here? Lucy. Huh? Well, sorry. <laughs> Something. Um, what were they saying on Drunken Chat about this one? Oh, oh, because, uh, uh, Oh my gosh! Uh, it because it was like an order ratio variant or something like that, or qualifier. Yeah, it was well. It was but while back. It was while back when he talked about it. But I remember. I just remember this one because Mel wanted this one so bad, and they were saying how the way it looks is because I mean, obviously she's a child, kind of, and he's. Oh, he's popping. gonna pop it. He's gonna to oh, like to have pops in her face. No. Oh, I totally didn't see that angle. Okay. So, this is one of the, the manga variants, too. So it got some traction from that. I didn't see that other. Okay. Okay. So it, it, it was just a little like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but it's a beautiful cover. Again, the art, everything, I I do like it. Like, But I don't know. I see, because a bunch of <laughs> adults talking about it makes me feel, look at it different. <laughs> oh, now I'm looking at it different. I was like, wait, what, what was what was the you know the stir here? But okay, well, if you guys can find it in a back issue, then good luck. Otherwise, you're looking at spending about fifty bucks on this. But it's it's still a very nice cover. And again, you're you're seeing this is the the jump where you start to see more of her actual style that we see later with Monstrous. And yeah. here we are, the moment that you guys have all been waiting for, because this is what she is known yeah. for. I feel like this is where she took a huge jump in her career, and people started giving her the credit that she deserved. Again, she teamed up with Marjorie Liu, who is one of the most fantastic writers. Brilliant woman, too. I think she was a trained lawyer. Yeah, right? well, because oh. Marjorie and her worked on uh, X-23 together. Oh, and okay. so, And then she just kind of talked about, hey, would you want to do this book? And That's then, like, so cool. stems from there. Uh, I, you know, I, I really, I really want number one on this one, uh, but I know <sighs> I'm gonna have to pay like some money, and I know I should have got it when I first read it. But then I kind of, because it was when I was kind of getting into comics, and it was like either this one or Saga. So. You know, mm, that's a tough choice. Saga. So I went, yeah. So I went with that, and I kind of like I did read the first tray, I think, of this one, and it was pretty. I, I remember like I really liked it, and I really the, the story and everything was just so good, and the art inside is just so freaking powerful, breathtaking. Like, I mean, yeah. you read, you read it right, it, it, and then after you're done reading it, like you start looking at every single detail. It is just so good. 
It's, it's just a beautiful book. You might be able to get, so this is a second print. There's a third print. And it, depending on, I feel like at a lot of half price books, or I don't, I don't think you've had mm. half price books in California, but at like secondhand shops, when they tend to see second second prints, third prints, what, they tend to not not care, not care. They just kind of. So you might get lucky. Just like always check. Like I know people are like, oh, it's Nothing like that. There's no way people been hunting for this book forever, but yeah. if you just always check, just because you never, you know, you never know. Yeah, I do. Yeah, and you never know. And well, see, like right now with everybody like so going crazy for the second prints, ter- third prints, and all that stuff. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Well, you're uh, looking you looking at 255 raw otherwise. Uh, Roughly $700 if you want a 9.8, sometimes uh, more. Uh, I'd rather get, like, not a good copy and still be able to get it. Make a placeholder. Would you Would you get the, there's that dollar one out. Which one? So, oh, yeah, I see. Mate. I hate that, that image. Thing. Yeah, yeah, they do that, that, that bar. Yeah. It kind of ruins it. I agree with you there. But JJ said he submitted this three times and got 9.6 each time. Everyone probably opened it up to read it, right? What was the print run on the original, on the number one? Honestly, I'm assuming it was probably, this is image, probably around 500, maybe maybe lower? Oh, five, no. No. 500, no, why not? Yeah. More, more, no, than that. more than that. 500 is the minimum minimum for image. I know. I don't it think it would have been minimum, though. I think they would be. No. Oh, more. no. Because no, Mar- at this point, Marjorie are already had X23. She's already an acclaimed writer. Like, I, I don't see them being. I don't oh, it's a th- he's, yeah, it is a thick book. You're right. So it makes Hold sense. Hold on. Like <laughs> so both Lucy and I say over four, 500, and you're saying 500. Oh, it's way over. What about Liz Bed? You're going to lose? Wait, would yeah, Cover lose. Price have this information for us? Uh, I don't think oh, so. they don't do. I don't think they do print print run. Print, no, because it's uh, hard to tell, honestly. Well, it's another thing. Like, and no, I'm not betting because I don't. I don't feel confident in my answer. <laughs> I'm only going to bet if I know I can win. Well, the <laughs> thing about getting print runs is that usually people can track down like Dude. Ordered, ordered by retailers, but that doesn't mean the whole entire like. And that's the part that's tough because mm-hmm. you're like, because I know that they they have diamond sales, right? Mm-hmm. So you know someone out there. I wish there's a way to like. The publisher or the printer, I guess, should keep track. Yeah. And then do you, do you include damages or no? You include damages in the print run, yeah. Does anybody yeah, out there know I'm how to look going, at it? I'm going to be here. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're pausing the show until I figure this out. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, we're not moving on because this is driving me nuts. How many, how many number ones of Monstrous are out there? Yeah, someone let us know. And you know what I want you to do? About around 4,000 or 5,000, maybe. I mean, I think that will be low. Yeah, I would think 1,000 to 5,000 is what I would think. Yeah, so you guys are probably right because I'm thinking in terms of exclusives. I'm think thinking that, when we do exclusives, it's said, 500. Oh, here we go. So said, uh, I want her around 9 to 10K. Not sure. Oh, geez. So you see, I, I think, and I think that's still low for all everything. Like, I think that's still Across a low country. print. Yeah. yeah. And not, I mean, the, the whole world who knows where else we send them you know yeah i'm thinking exclusives my bad i was thinking if you buy an exclusive your minimum's oh. 500 but that's okay. that's different so see i told you guys it was more than 500 all right moving on so smart <laughs> all right <laughs> the power of the dark crystal this one's very cool too it, it looks so this the similar to monst- it's similar to monstrous with the coloring and the line work and everything uh one of Anthony's favorite uh, series, actually. So, did you guys watch the Netflix? Yes, I'm trying. I couldn't get into it. I couldn't get into it either. I'm like, Aunt, seriously. He's like, No, keep keep watching. I'm like, Watch him. Did, did you watch the making of the making of the Dark Crystal? They 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 did what they did for for the movie. Oh. Like that was like hand sculpted. Like they, oh man, that's they did so much work. Wait, yeah, they did so much work. It was so cool, and then it got canceled. It was too much money, but anyway. Yeah, yeah Anthony gets a kick out of this series. He's, it's like one of his favorites. I just never got like that into the the cult following that it has. Not to say that it doesn't deserve it, because he thinks it's great. Yeah. But it the movie, three show, yeah, it was so and- good. Me. Okay, so this this book <laughs> came out in two thousand seventeen. <laughs> it, it was okay. It was okay. Ooh, I like this comment. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> like Lords of the Rings style. Okay, it comes I out when? I was thinking, I couldn't think of. 2017. 
Okay. So after Monstrous, mm -hmm. so again, you're starting to see that her style's evolved more. She's finding what colors that she likes to work with and how she uses certain colors to kind of amplify a scene. It's beautiful. beautiful. And again, th this is only three bucks. So much detail. That is crazy. Yeah. Look at that little city behind him in the bottom uh, yep. right. It's freaking insane. And she also did mm -hmm. Labyrinth, too. That was another series that she did a really good job oh, with yeah. the cover. Now, like Labyrinth, I liked. Yeah, me too. That one I, I do. I did pick up a few. I think I have one of the old la Labyrinths. Oh, really? Yeah, I have the shoes. I'll send you guys a pic once I find it. <laughs> It's interesting, though, that, again, look at the trend here. You're not seeing a huge increase. Like, when I think of artists like this, I think of, again, Jenny Frizen. And, like, all of her covers just seem to keep on going up, up, up. Like, why aren't people catching on more to how much talent there is here, aside from just the Monstro so series? Many. Like, I mean, I, there's so I, many artists, and right now they're just kind of, like, into, like, everybody, like, the Peach Momoko is a new thing, the whole, you know. I just wish, yeah, I wish they will get into, like, those two to to all those amazing artists but i guess uh there's a style that you have to kind of like and not everybody has good taste <laughs> <laughs> i like that that's it <laughs> yeah, definitely a style of the moment and the people who have the long-lasting potential she is the long-lasting potential i think definitely and then also the fact that it's dark crystal like i like dark crystal and likes dark crystal but like Laura, like, you know, you're like, eh, right? So mm -hmm. you see seeking this book out to read and to like have for the art is, is is a lower percentage. But like the second she gets on a Star Wars book, right? Like if she did a Sabine run, I think that book would then, especially if it was a ratio variant or something, would stay up high and stay there, right? Or Mandalorian, right? Like, yeah, it, it, it's the know. ones that, so the, even with this list, when you see like the next yeah. one, I guess. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's my cue. Uh, there we go. Is yeah, amazing. Oh God, that one. I had to right? get that one. Laura, you gotta cosplay her. <laughs> oh, no, I don't have dark hair. Jen does. Jen doesn't. See, but my, Jen skin, doesn't. my skin's too dark. I can't do this. <laughs> Well, just spirit gum it. <laughs> Lots of spirit gum all over. This one's gorgeous. This one again, I don't I don't understand. <laughs> I don't have spirit gum, guys. This one's so pretty, and I think that it has like that same um, feel. Do you guys remember the Jenny Frizen book for uh, Jen? It was your pick, Firefly. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, it kind of reminds right. me of that whole look. It's. Right, I don't know if it's right. if it's the hair or the the really very, detailed jeweling. I think it's the soft the softness and that like the fantastical elements kind yeah. of pull you pull you. It's so beautiful. I, I really like this cover. But Asia Conan, it's like people like you either. But it, yeah, it should be. You have to be a Conan fan. I, I, I honestly, I only picked this co uh, comic because, and I have it like right here in my boxes. That it's the ones for my white not. <laughs> but I only picked it up because I love the freaking the cover. cover. That's the only one that I picked up because this one is just so beautiful. That's something that you can have like in a frame as an art. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like it. Two dollars and fifty cents on eBay. That's insane. Well, I'm just shipping. like plus shipping. So you're looking at like seven dollars, maybe six dollars if you get lucky. So the average price you're looking at about ten bucks. But it is on an upward trend. So you weren't the only one, Lucy, that was like, okay, this one's worth grabbing. And she's also one of those artists that, like, I don't know if if you were a completionist and you, hey, I love everything she does. Let me try to get everything. Like as of right now, they're attainable. Who knows in the future, right? Yeah, like, yeah. And probably, as of right now, yeah, this one it had to be also a little print. Come on, like I feel like little oh, uh, that weird. Cool. Yeah, the foil one it would have been cool. all the gold. Like you could see, like literally, that would be awesome. But I feel like this one, like the Conans and all that stuff, like it's a lot less print because not everybody it's into that. Again, so. it, it's on that. <sighs> Same, Conan, same. I think Conan has a, has a chance to come back uh, and yeah. be prevalent, and, but is as of right now, her, yeah. is, This is her first book, right, of Billy? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Isn't her first book or something like that? So if they it, add her to that universe, this could go up. Again, we're just, just saying our opinion. We don't know. 
<laughs> but I don't know. It, it's a beautiful cover. I love it. It's cover. solid. And you're going to be selling this on whatnot, Lizzie? Maybe. I'll think about it. I don't know. You have to follow her on whatnot. Maybe she will. Maybe oh. she'll just break it out. And what? you can have her sign it in gold. And that would look really cool. Oh, yeah. But then uh, you don't think it will blend in? No, no, no. The, the gold shiny. I mean, okay. I guess it could. Oh, oh, silver? I guess probably closer to where the the red is in the top. Mm. Like the little like the beams, right no? there. It needs to be like right under her butt cheek. That's no, where I would put the signature. Yeah. Right? Like right yeah. there is where. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. I like this one. I was really excited that you included this. Warm of the, War of the Realms number one. So you have the Virgin variant off to the side, which is, how much is that one? So wow, the, only that. Uh, well, I can't yeah. tell which ones. I what think was that. Saying about seven books. No? So that's where the picture is virgin. I couldn't find. It was tough, right? I found the one that has the trade dress on it. Yeah. yeah but I haven't found any ones that that were that were listed. Or I found ones that were listed, but nothing that was sold. All the ones that were sold were, they say one in 50, but I'm like, well, wait, the trade dress is there. Huh? So I got a little confused, but I just love this image of Thor. I thought she knocked it out of the freaking park. It's awesome. Yeah, this is a good one. It's really, really good. Isn't this like the War of Realms, like a, like a key issue or something like that? I don't, uh, I don't know. Well, it came out in 2019 and uh, was like something it, it wasn't the War of Realms with uh, that the, the group uh, okay oh, i think you just, know what you're yeah. saying yeah okay yeah it's beautiful brilliant use of light she really captures that uh the strength behind this character i love the perspective that she gives us with that whole like kind of coming in with the rocks floating it's gorgeous this is when i if i found this i would pay i would pay 10 bucks for this hands down uh the virgin i like better obviously i, I would guess that you took the words out of me i was it would have been a lot better if it was virgin for one out of 50 but it is what it is but yeah yeah i, I would still pay for it i still think this is one if you can find it it's worth mm -hmm. picking up paul says that smoking we 100 percent agree guys if you are just joining us real quick uh we just saw some more people hop in welcome to comic book women the girls and I go live every Tuesday, so if you're enjoying the show, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to check us out every week. We spotlight a different female artist, creator, writer, character, whatever. Uh, we do take suggestions. Somebody actually mentioned uh, Sana a while back, and we did Marjorie Lou, and so it was her turn. Yeah, make sure that you guys leave a comment, too. We read everything, and it means a lot to us. Uh, in the meantime, Jen, Lucy, and I are all on Whatnot now, so you can find all of us over on Whatnot if you're interested in live sales. And Oh, and we included a link in the description for our previous show that we did on Free Comic Book Day that covers everything that you're going to see on Free Comic Book Day, which is just around the corner, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, our picks. Saturday, your birthday. Ah. ah, your birthday's coming up. You guys My better birthday. message Laura for her birthday. And Jen's going to be 26. No, to me 38 on Thursday. I'm going to be 37. We're right by each other. Wait, am I going to be 37? If I was born in 84. If we're in 83. So I'm 37. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I can't remember. I'm oh, man. How old? Eight, uh, 87. I'm on, uh, no, my birthday. I mean, it's my year. It's 87. So you'd be 32? Oh, I'm not 34. I'm 34. I'm bad at math. Years are confusing because like the smaller the number goes, the older you are. And that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. Next up, we have Batman Black and White number three. I, I again, I think this is very cool. I would not have eventually. Right. You wouldn't think that this is Sonic Takeda. You don't look at it and go, oh, this is definitely her. Uh, but this one's very, very nice. I'm guessing, Jen, you're just in love with this. I mean, it's a rain cover. Look at the detail in it. Mm. She did like. And it's the it, 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 twenty twenty one, so this 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 year. Yeah, not I really. like it, but it's not it's not what I would expect from her. It's yeah. just nothing about it that gives me her signature style that would make me want to invest the money in it. It's because it's, it's black and white, though, and it's because yeah. it's black and white. It's 
cool. She could have, but it just doesn't doesn't remind me of her. Yeah. Again, that's not not everybody has to like everything, guys, that we're showing you. But for me personally, this isn't one that I would have stopped so by looking. You I like it when she does that fantastical and like that coloring, and then for her specifically, coloring, yes. Well, if you take the coloring out of it, still, I want to see those really cool, intricate line work that she adds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, they said that we should do Stephanie Hans. I think we do have her in the list, right? Yeah. That we have, here's the thing. There's a big list <laughs> for both female characters, artists, and writers. It's big. It's We're going to be doing this for a long time. It's just trying to figure out us, when yeah. to do it. And yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Your birthday's on Thursday, Jen? Yep. Oh, okay. I, I have to remember that. I'll put it... Actually, I think I might have you on my calendar. What do you I want for your to, birthday? Have to work. What you, <laughs> you're working... Oh, mine's on a Saturday, so I kind of lucked out. What do you want for your birthday? I okay. want... I'm just kidding. <laughs> my birthday. <laughs> oh, I do have it. I do have you on my, on my list. Okay, well, if you don't tell me, then I'll just send you what I want. Spirit gum. <laughs> I do Lots like spirit gum. Of spirit gum. It's going to show a better house. <laughs> All right. So this Batman number three, you're looking at a $50 9.8, dollars for the raw comic. It's still very, very nice, but it just, again, doesn't capture that Sana Takeda magic that I've seen in her other covers. What do you think, Jen? Yeah, I like it. I yeah. buy it. <laughs> Maybe even more rain or something. Just something to make it more like, or even the blood that's going down. Like she could have. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too critical. I like it. Lucy, what do you think? <laughs> it's nice. It's not. It's definitely nice. But like, it's, it, like Laura said, it's not her style. And I, if it would have been more like you could tell right away, I would have picked it up. And so quick question then. It looks like it's blood on his hand. It might be water, but it's probably blood. If I think it's blood. it was this black and white, but the red from the blood was on his hand, yeah, would that change your mind? Been cool yes for me yes if the hand yes i mean that would have helped yeah that would that would one up it a Nine little bit color, yes so i wonder if she could in that like that uh red metallic or red like those paint pens go and like do that like hey instead of getting it signed or getting it signed and also getting it can you just do this real quick and yep. then she signed it and then bah. Thank you. And you have the best. See, this one's perfect for signing if it's like one of those red gold pens. That would be nice for signing. But I wouldn't want it because it doesn't, you can't tell it's her. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah, we win. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, moving on. This is something fun that Jen threw into the mix tonight. This is a collector's card, which they did at San Diego Comic Con. Which is really, this is kind of neat. So you can kind of collect different cards for different creators. And yeah, they found, she found one for Sana, which was like 20 to $30, right? Yep. I, wow. But I don't, part of me is like 20, 30 bucks. Uh, I'm going to now mm -hmm. seek this out because I didn't know these existed. And I'm like, wow, yeah. I really want and her this card. Is a checklist. That's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that, that is, that's really neat. We need to do comic book women cards, collectors cards. Right. That'd be fun. That'd be kind of fun. Nobody would buy them, but it would be fun. But her, this is cool. Like in its uh, Comicsology did it from 2017, and they're out there. So if you come across it, let me know. Because I only found two for sale on eBay, but I can't find it anywhere else. Because I kind of wonder if they threw them out and people just like put them away. Mm -hmm. Oh, David Mack's on there. Where is yeah. he on there? Oh, why there's Mac. Heavy hitters. Why, Mac, why, how, how come he's not in the heavy hitters? Huh. I don't I'm know. Bruce, like, oh. Bruce, Tim, Bruce, Bruce, Tim, and Jim Lee, and Jeff John. Like, I, you know. I mean, you see, we can take this little list and then talk about the woman from there. Too. Yeah, Laura Allred's on there. Yeah. Yeah, this is very neat. If any of you guys have them, send us pictures. This is, this is cool stuff. All right. We're, we're cruising tonight, guys. All right, so if you are just joining, welcome in uh, to Comic Book Women. You can always go back, rewind the show, and kind of take a look at everything that we just covered. We were spotlighting artist Sana Takeda, who got her fame from Monstrous, but she was talented long before that, as we proved to you. So what? Monstrous 35 came out oh, a yeah. little bit ago. I couldn't yeah. find. I liked. I always like to put a slide of upcoming. Uh, I know that she did a couple of Spider-Woman covers, and... 
like I couldn't find a release date for 36. For I remember Story. the Monsters 35 though. That was a beautiful cover too. It looked like a, a tech board, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm thinking if it isn't yet on Previews World, it's possibly slated for November, December, but I'm not positive. Mm -hmm. But I, that's the darn it. Because I, I, it's a nice thing to joke. No, I think that's always cool. I like to see what they have coming up too. So if you're working on your collection and we always like to choose um, a book that we're looking forward to that's coming out tomorrow since we go live on Tuesdays. So for tomorrow, I made Jen mad before the show. I'm like, I couldn't find anything that I liked. It was slim pickings. And she's all, what? I'm like, eh. There's so many. Th I, I had such a hard time whittling it down. It was super tough. I had a hard time picking one that I was excited about. I mean, Lucy was saying she's excited about Amer American number five, right? Oh, yeah. Chavez, yeah. And yeah. I, it's the, it should be the end of the story. Like, if you want to read it, come on, let's read it. Yeah. So he, I, I liked the unbelievable unteens. I read the description on it and I was like, okay, this looks interesting. Jeff Lemire is obviously just doing fantastic with his Sweet Tooth series. And he had well, another one come out. He's a hit of miss. He's hit or miss. Remember the one that I read and I was like, what the heck did I just read? The Oh, the, the dead one with like yeah, the trees. I can't remember. And I was just like, what? It was bad. I didn't like it. So it's a hit or uh, miss with him. There's some that I like of his. There's some that is just like what? Yeah. He just came out with something called like May's book, May oh, something. Yeah, yeah. And that one I thought had such a cool concept, and nobody's talking about it. His daughter like is dead, but he's hearing her like oh, in his head, and he they yeah. think she's trapped in a maze somewhere. I think that's such a cool Go concept. Your yeah, it was one of my picks, and nobody's yeah. talking about it. Nobody said a word about it, and I was like, "This is this seems neat." But I want to, I mean, I want to, I want to pick it up if I can find it somewhere. Yeah, they're on to number two, and Anthony was like, "Yeah, you, Laura, you never know," because I wanted to do an exclusive for that one. I'm like, "This sounds like such a cool read," and he's like, "It doesn't matter sometimes if the story is amazing; they just don't hit the way you think they're going to." But if it is a good read, it has the possibility of coming back. Yeah, right? like, like it just like like Sweet Tooth. Like when it came out, like honestly, well, I was not reading comics at the time, but then not till a few years ago, like, but I think, I don't know if it was when they announced the movie uh, or the show, it was when everybody was all about Sweet Tooth buying the trades yeah. and not everything. So, I mean, it could be one of those. Well, yeah. The, the Unbelievable on Teens, I like the second cover, the variant. I didn't what see the second the cover. cover. It has all the has all the unteens on there. Oh. Do you want to say hi, Adam? So what is this? What is this about? Uh, so basically, she the characters from her book are like coming to life. She's a comic book writer. Hi, I can read you the actual description here. My son just walked in from his first like jujitsu karate lesson. Nice. No he's like, itching to tell me. Yes. Well, just come here real quick. How how did it go? Good. Tell everybody. Was it fun? Yeah. Did you beat anybody up? I got to five people to tap out. You got five yeah. people to tap out? Yeah. Oof. Good job. High five. Ooh. You need to go take a shower. Oh. <laughs> oh. Roll. oh, that's that's interesting. But anyway, so the Unbelievable Unteens is the one that I'm looking forward to. We'll see if Jeff Lemire can make me want to oh, buy issue what number was two. What was okay, hold on. Hold on. I'll read you the actual. Okay. Yeah, because I was going to say, like, I, I can do a quick synopsis. That's basically what it is go ahead that basically it's a writer who does this comic series she's at a convention and then she finds out that her characters are real yeah they're like coming to life right yeah something like that it, it sounds that interesting sounds, that sounds very familiar like i uh they didn't who was it who was it somebody wrote something like that before for image i want to say and it something blood and it was going kind of expensive uh oh my gosh was it it's gonna drive me crazy i need to look for it and let you guys know but that sounds very familiar okay well yeah let me know but it, it looks interesting this is the only one that i was like okay i would i want to see what this is what's happening here so who do you guys think picked star wars who else <laughs> well because it's a Ex Jedi Monster Hunter, like what? no, this is cool. I'm so excited to read this. I'm so excited to read this. I'm so excited to read this. Ex but are Jedi you excited? Yes. I'm excited now that you're excited. 
because it's an ex giant monster hunter come on like how is that not going to be an awesome story so a jedi goes around hunting monsters an ex jedi Mm, nice how can you be an ex jedi oh a lot of uh a couple people have like left the order because of one reason or not another i mean ahsoka did ahsoka left the order Mm, that's true all right well yeah this one looks good and this this one has Jen written all over it. So if you guys are Star Wars fans out there, that's on my poll too, said Aaron Yee. So he agrees with you on that. And then uh, Laura uh, Zara, that's the Jen of comic book booting. So yes, of course. I know. I'm pretty sure that's like the um, yin to your yang. I really miss Jedi Johnson. I really miss uh, Sundays. Stupid job to uh, tell some dark side on Sundays. Oh, oh yeah, that was your Star Wars show. Well, I liked going on it, and it's like I haven't been able—I haven't been able to. I could just listen to them. So, What's happening with the cinnamon thing? What is oh, that? So actually, I was uh, listening to Team Nerd Herd, and this is uh, Sparks Comics Pick of the Week, and he was talking about it. And as he's talking about it, I'm driving. I'm like, this sounds really cool. I pulled over, screenshotted, and then kept driving. <laughs> so it's from Behemoth. <laughs> The story is from the the perspective of a cat, so like it's so to them Wait, like it's like a cat and then he has a cat. Huh? Is that a cat? Yeah, it's with a cat. bat, and then he has a cat pet. Well, no. So I I, I understand <laughs> that, that cat you're seeing on the ground uh-huh. is what it thinks it is with, oh like, gotcha it's how it's, it's like from his perspective or its perspective oh so, okay like yeah. oh my pug thinks she's a lion she thinks she's like a wolf yeah so it's just like this is what oh. they and so what they're saying i think in the description was a counter is like a skyscraper and like the toys are like roaming gangs because you have to fight the fight the, the toys right and so i just i'm curious to read it's it seems like a fun read and like lighthearted and whimsical but thank you team nerd herd for because i didn't see this in i just must have overlooked it so I'm yeah glad. it's a cool cover i like it it's very it's very interesting yeah all right so let's see here I, well that was it for us tonight oh guys i want to let you know for any of you watching i've been telling the girls for the past couple of weeks that we did um we have a carla cohen exclusive coming out and i have not shown them the artwork but it's it's beautiful. Um, I wish there was a less like lame word to use than beautiful, but when you guys see it, you're going to be incredibly impressed. Uh, we are going to be doing a teaser of that on Thursday, and then it is going to launch on Saturday. So if you're a Carla Cohen fan, it's the Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy cover. It's it's really nice. Like you guys are, I can I can feel you guys are going to be messaging me like, oh my gosh, it's it, is it that new series that's coming out? Which mm-hmm. Ah, okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm not saying anything yet. I'm not, I'm not saying too much, but yes, it's the new series. Uh, you, you'll see that on Saturday. So if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to Bird City Comics, our newsletter. That way you kind of get an email whenever we drop something. Or we're on Instagram and Facebook. And then Mirror Nirvana is our own personal channel that we do on Saturdays. It's a lot of fun. We have different guests that come on with us. We cover all ranges of topics. And we are on, again, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, obviously, and Twitter. So, yeah, this it'll be a fun show coming up. Although, I wonder if I'm, are we going to do it on Saturday now that I'm thinking about it? Oh, it's your birthday. Should I do a show on my birthday? I don't know if I will be able to. You guys might have to do it without me. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I can do it, but I think, and then. You guys will be fine. Birthday. Hey, we can skip it. It's fine. Well, we need. Well, because we definitely have to do our next giveaway is we are doing a, a bet of who Amelia yeah. Park character is going to be. And you have to to enter into the giveaway. You have to comment on our second video, which is like our casting video. Uh, we'll probably put a link in the description somewhere else, whatever. But like we need to do we haven't we haven't posted anywhere what our pick is. So maybe if we skip it, it has to be the week, a- week after that. Right. I, I, we'll see. I don't mind going live on my birthday. I went live on my birthday last year. Last okay. year I was live. Yeah, it was Anthony and I did a Bird City Comics live show on my birthday. I don't. I don't mind. It's not like a huge deal. I'm just going to be 24. Maybe we'll do like a two drink minimum. You can't. We start the show two drinks in. 
Oh, I would love that. If you guys will drink with me on my birthday, then I'm totally in. So yeah, guys, make sure that you tune in for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and again, Lucy is uh, doing a whatnot show tomorrow. This tomorrow, Thursday? No, tomorrow's no, Wednesday. Thursday. No, Thursday. Thursday. I thought, Thursday. You, lost. I thought Thursday. you said you, you couldn't wait. Oh, I did one today oh. in the morning. Oh, I missed that one. It's well, okay. check her out on whatnot is the point. On, uh, uh, on Thursday, on Thursday at five. I, I think I put it at four forty, but yeah, five for sure. Perfect. All right, that's it for us tonight, guys. We will see you next Tuesday. Thanks again for tuning in. Um, anything else? I think that I think that's it. Happy hunting. Happy hunting. Have a good night. Thank <laughs> you.